Hello, welcome to The Little Ideas. Today we are going to pyrolysize this pirate ship in this pyrolysis chamber. We are going to have to take it off the stand because plastic does not pyrolysize well, so we're making a slight modification and putting it on a metal base instead. First, we'll take off the lid of our pyrolysis chamber, and we are going to set the pirate ship into our pyrolysis chamber. Like so. If everything works out, and the sails on this thing are indeed canvas, it should come out looking the exact same way, but charcoal version. Next, we put our lid on the pyrolysis chamber, and lock her into place. Now make sure we have an even seal is very important for all American canners, or probably any canner to be honest. Tighten up our doohickeys. What are they called? Wing nuts. Oh, there we go. Our cameraman has told me they're actually called wing nuts. <laughs> I'm a girl and I was homeschooled, so eh. And she's also nuts. <laughs> Got you back from the last video. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Now that our wing nuts are all tightened, we can make sure we have an evenly space around our seal. We are going to place our pyrolysis chamber onto our turkey burner. Now this turkey burner is fired up with propane. So I have my propane tank set up over here and my trusty lighter. So let's get this puppy fired up. If you didn't want to do this on a turkey burner, you could actually do this on a campfire like we did in our pyrolysis and waffles video that you can find on our YouTube channel at The Little Ideas LLC. Now, once I fire this thing up, what's gonna happen is inside of this chamber is gonna get really hot and it's a no oxygen environment. Now, once those gases start being extracted with the heat, it goes through this tube and it's gonna release out the top and we're going to be able to light it on fire for you until all of the gases are gone and what's gonna be left inside is carbon black in the shape of a pirate ship. There's not very much material in here, so we might not get an impressive flame, but in future videos, we should be able to get this flame pretty big for you. Now that it's lit, all we have to do is wait. I, I couldn't start the, well, I've never done it and they said it was intense. Mm -hmm. And so Greg lit it for me and I went, woo! And I'm not gonna lie, I squealed like a little girl. I, I can't remember how big it is, but it's a big problem. It, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty uh, dramatic. But while this is burning, we are going to wait until we are able to light this top here. And once the gases are all gone out of the top, we'll know that our pyrolysis is complete. Ooh, it almost lit. We're hearing some crack-a-lacking in this chamber. Ooh, we got a lot more smoke, people. A lot more smoke, she's getting close. In the daytime, it is a very clear flame and you mostly can't see it. But we're gonna do our best to get a good view of it for you. Almost burning, it's really close while I drink my espresso. Hi. Hi. I want to tell you why it doesn't blow up right now. I want to tell you why it doesn't blow up right now. To have fire. To have fire. You must have heat. You must have heat. Fuel. You must have fuel. And oxygen. And you must have oxygen. And that's when fires and explosions occur. And that's when fires and explosions occur. Because this pyrolysis machine. And because this pyrolysis machine. I meant reactor. I meant reactor. Because Greg didn't know what he was talking about. Because Greg doesn't know what he's talking about. Has no oxygen inside of it. Has no oxygen inside of it. It will not kaboom. It will not kaboom. Because oxygen would make it kaboom. The lack of oxygen gives us our end product without the explosion. I love Greg. I love Greg. I love Greg. He's the best. He made me this pyrolysis reactor and he's the best husband I ever could ask for because he brought me espresso. 
I got my own meat, hung it on a hose, hung it on an espresso. So it's not lighting and we're not sure if it's actually gonna light because of not only the wind, but also there's not a lot of fuel coming from just this tiny little pirate ship. So we may not get an actual flame from this, but the end result should still be really cool. I think we're coming to the end of the pyrolysis process because the smoke has definitely slowed down a lot. And I don't think we're gonna get a flame today just because of the wind factor and like I said before, and the limited amount of fuel we have in our pyrolysis chamber. Now we've turned the flame off because we've reached the level of what should be carbon black in the pyrolysis chamber. I am not Greg, so I care about safety and I don't wanna burn my fingers off. I don't touch fire like Greg does because I'm just not as cool as Greg. Let's unscrew these wing nuts and take a look inside of our pyrolysis chamber. They are very hot. I can feel them through the welding gloves. But I just can't wait to see what's inside, so we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Tim, this is for you, buddy. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas. Very gentle. I'm trying, it is very hot. Mwah! What do we have there? A full pirate ship. We did it! We did it, guys! The mast and the sails do not like what we did, but the rest of it is charcoal. It is so light and crispy and cracking all the way through. Look how cool it is! It's a charcoal pirate ship! Huh. Oh yeah, that sucks. You're probably breaking half the It's a charcoal time. pirate ship! Charcoal all the way through. We did it. Now a charcoal shipwreck. Here we are, people. The maiden voyage of our pyrolysis reactor. Now you can see it is charcoal all the way through and the mast and the, the mast was okay, but the sails didn't quite make it. Now the ad claimed it was made of canvas, but as you can see, there was definitely plastic and that's why you see them melting. But hey, still pretty cool. What are we gonna pyrolysize next? A chicken wing? A plate of leftovers? What do you wanna see us pyrolysize? Drop it in the comments below and let's have some fun, shall we? Wait, 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 Kyla, hold on. D don't end it quite yet. So, uh, yeah, we had that catastrophic failure, but it wasn't on the, the pirate ship. There goes the kitten. It wasn't on the pirate ship. Uh, I was doing an off-camera experiment with hockey pucks to see what would happen because I wanted to see uh, the pyrolysis in action with the, that kind of vulcanized rubber. And it was definitely, definitely not as easy to do as wood. I actually... I cranked up that burner really, really high, and I left for 15 minutes, and um, man, it was really going. <laughs> so, I always like doing experiments while I'm doing experiments, and I got a story I'll tell you next, I'll tell you that on the next video when I'm showing you, oh yeah, we're building another one out of stainless steel this time, but I, it's, like Thomas Edison said there, it's not a failure. I had a story in my mind from somebody I know that did aluminum on the stovetop, fell asleep, and the whole house was black when they woke up. And I'll tell you that next time. But watch us build this sucker next time. It's going to be way better, way bigger. All right, Kyla, wrap it up. Modern angst. Go check them out.